monetary Put some money on my books, nigga, call it commissary Before a nigga sound so per usual i'm going to start off with airspun setting powder in the shade translucent basically to just set the oily spots in my t-zone because i don't like that wet look right there even though it happens but yeah i'm just putting that on there and putting it on my brows it just gives my brows a really really crisp look that is just undefeated so yeah especially with a pencil oh it, it just looks bomb then I'm gonna go into the Wet n Wild Coal Liner Pencil. You know what? It's just so lazy of me to not figure out the name of this pen, but I believe that's what it is. Um, pen, pencil, y'all yeah, know what I mean. But it'll be in the description box below, of course. And I'm just gonna do my brows how I normally do them. I do kinda wanna do an updated brow routine just because I do kinda have a new way that I do it. But I'm just basically gonna outline my brow shape and yeah, fill it in a little bit and I'll go into more detail in that new video. So if I'm not doing any type of eyeshadow or anything big on my eyes, I go ahead and put my primer on because I like for it to be a little tacky, a little sticky, so that my foundation kind of sticks a little better, and especially with me having oily skin. This primer I'm gonna go in with is the CoverGirl Base Business Pore Minimizing Primer, and I'm just gonna take a brush to pretty much pat it into my skin. And then for my concealers, they never change, unfortunately. Um, we're gonna go into the LA Girl Pro Concealers in the shade Natural for the like tail part of my brow and the shade Pure Beige for the front part of my brow. Okay, so we all know I go concealer crazy. It is a proven fact. I think I thought I was doing eyeshadow. I forgot for a second, but it's okay. We gonna fix it, so it's okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. Just pat, 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 pat that on out. Then I'm gonna actually set it with the 330 Toffee from Maybelline Fit Me Matte Powder Foundation. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. Sorry, y'all know I be getting tongue tied because for whatever reason, I don't have the products <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> Anywho, um, so I'm just gonna pat that out with a foundation that actually matches my shade, um, set it with the powder, just so that it blends better because girl, I just lost it here and really just OD'd.
so we all know my favorite eyeliner of all time is the like i've tried many but anyway my favorite is the inglot number 77 gel liner and that's what i'm going to take with the elf eyeliner brush i do like paint brushes better with any type of detail uh pertaining to my eyes because it just is very precise but this is what we got for now so we're just gonna take it so basically what i do is i start by doing like a half a wing um like if you want to do that dramatic effect on the end not really sure if i'm explaining that correctly but i start with the half a wing then i go out and i basically drag my wing where i want it to stop and then i just go back the same way that i came and then i just fill it in i mean it's really just that simple And um, I find that drawing the line first and then just going back on top is really how you can get it very, very, very precise and very sharp. Then I'm gonna color correct per usual, but I'm gonna go into an OD but a goodie, the Anastasia Beverly Hill Coral Orange Corrector, which of course is for dark marks. Um, and don't mind my unibrow, y'all. I didn't fix it till later on, so yeah, excuse the unibrow. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna pat that on, then I'm gonna blend it out with the Beauty Blender. And then I'm gonna set it with airspun and translucent per usual. For foundation, I'm gonna go into the CoverGirl True Based Business Matte Foundation in the shade Caramel. And I'm gonna mix that with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Caramel. And I'm gonna just blend it out with a damp foundation brush. And I understand that this foundation is a bit dark. That's why I mixed it. But the CoverGirl foundation still was kind of overpowering it a little bit. But that's okay because we gonna fix it. So 
So I'm gonna go into the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer that I went into in my last tutorial. And let me tell y'all, I don't know if I let this sit too long, which looking back at the footage, I guess I did. In the moment, I didn't feel like I did, but hell yeah, I'm, I'm sitting here like scrolling through the whole clip. Yeah, I definitely probably waited too late because it was not blending with um, this freaking beauty blender. Like if y'all notice, I'm sitting here like, what is going on? And then I even wet the beauty blender more. It was not working. So I was able to use like one of those little fluffy brushes I never know the name of from Amazon and I wet that and I was able to blend it out a little bit but y'all I'm not even gonna cap this gave me so much trouble so I'm thinking you have to blend it immediately because if not you're gonna be out of luck. So I still struggled a little bit to blend it out even with this brush. So I definitely made sure to go back into my foundation brush and blend that out. Then I'm gonna go into my concealer, not concealer, well it is concealers for some people, but I'm gonna go into my contour and I'm gonna use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Deep 56. To set my concealer, I'm gonna go into the Maybelline Fit Me Setting Powder in the shade 10 Light. And then I'm gonna blend it out with the CoverGirl Queen Collection Foundation in the shade, I believe it's Golden Honey. That's probably wrong. It'll be below though. For blush, I'm gonna go into the CoverGirl Classic Blush in the shade Ice. Um, Y'all know I love this blush. So pretty, so good for all skin tones. We love a good universal product. I'm gonna just go into some mascara and kind of let that set, spray my face a little bit to apply my highlight, which will be the Nefertiti Loose Highlight from Juvia's Place, of course.
I'm gonna use a little fan brush to set my concealer under my eye just to give myself that little spark. To line my lips, I definitely went in with the LA Colors Brown Auto Liner. Then I just went on top with some concealer in the shade Porcelain from LA Girl Colors. A little gloss, a little scent spray, and sweetie, we're done. So that is my everyday, like, kind of glam look, how I do my bowl liner. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.